The National Museum of Egyptian Civilization is a haven of Egyptian heritage that has thrived throughout the centuries. Set against the backdrop of the ancient Fustat city, the museum which was inaugurated with a massive mummy parade beholds vibrant elements from all our multi-layered culture. The three-story building greeted us with the ground floor, the final destination of the Golden Pharaohs. Considered the crown jewel of the museum, the Royal Mummies Hall is specially designed to display the mummies of the ancient kings and queens of Egypt. The design aims to give the visitor the feeling of strolling down the Valley of the Kings, where most of these mummies were originally resting. The Mummies Hall, a key display of the museum, is designed to look like the royal tombs in Luxor's Valley of the Kings. The hall has a slope leading down to it where visitors find themselves face to face with the royal mummies in a dimly lighted hall. In a specific unconventional path accompanied by dim lighting, visitors feel that they are inside a real cemetery as the mummies are displayed in a unique way accompanied by interactive displays and 3D holograms. The stairs then led us to the first floor, which displays ancient Egypt's medical excellence, skillful crafts and trades as well as remarkable accessories, makeup, board games and all the elements of ancient Egypt's heritage. On the opposite side of the ancient Egyptian relics lie segments of Islamic and Coptic cultures. The Kiswa, or cover of the Kaaba, that was sent in a grand ceremony from Cairo to Mecca for decades, is on display with all its impeccable handmade weaving of Arabic calligraphy as well as the Mahmal, or caravan, on which the Kiswa was kept during the annual procession to Mecca. Side by side, we could also see the art of tent making in its original form in an old tent on display. In another hall on the second floor, there is the textile gallery. The hall displays many pieces showing the development of Egyptian textile and fabrics and the industry through the ages. Finally, the upper floor was dedicated to the jewelry and attire left by the descendants of Muhammad Ali Pasha, which included various military and police uniforms. The National Museum of Egyptian Civilization embraces at its western edge an exclusive archaeological dye house that dates back to at least the first century of the Fatimid period. The pottery group, known as the pots with a black edge, is also one of the most prominent collectibles that is displayed in the museum dating back to the pre-dynastic era. The Museum of Civilization is also unique in displaying the first and oldest clock in history known to the ancient Egyptian as well as the first gauge of the Nile which was used to determine the height of the Nile River.